Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Douglas here, back with another video for the channel, but this time it's the final vlog of the 21-22 season. It has been a long season for all of us Southend fans, away fans who have watched these videos. It has been a very long year for us all, starting off at about 300 subs at the beginning of the season, and now we're ending up with 1.1k subs. You guys this season, whether you're a South End fan, an away fan, that's just caught my eyes. You're all amazing in your own way. Thank you for this season. Let's get in to today's video. We're heading into today's match, the final one of the season, Torquay United at home. Both teams today, nothing to play for. If Torquay win, they could go up to ninth, I believe it is. Blues can't move any higher in the tail, but if Blues lose today, potentially could drop to 14th based on other games today. But to say, when we played Torquay in October last year, we have come leading Leaps and bounds forward is an understatement by so far. Back in October, we had Phil Brown in charge. We had a team which was dysfunctional, no morale at all, disconnected behind the scenes. Since then, all has changed. New staff, new gaffer, new players. Probably had the best centre-back in the league until a couple of weeks ago. It has been definitely a long change for Blue since then. I'm hoping today we will pick up one final win in front of our fans. Obviously, both teams will go for it today. Try and get the win at all costs. But no Harry Cardwell today for Blue's big miss. I think he has a boot on his leg recently, which has been part up online. But Nathan Ralph, Tom Clifford and Kenny Clark are all in contention to start today. Might see Matt Dennis come in for Cardwell for his last game this season for Blues. Hey, maybe we'll get him back next season. Maybe not. It's definitely going to be a busy summer upcoming for Blues. But I'm going to head down to the game today. Me and the missus are going to be there today. If you happen to see us down there, I'll try and put your photos. If I get any of you in the video, let's get into today's video. Right then, oh, we're here in Salford, arrived nice and early today, as if you guys did not see on a, I did a giveaway on Twitter earlier this week, I'll put it up here just for all your views, make sure you are following me on the Twitter by the way, because I do give a lot of giveaways over on there, but this first one ahead of the new season, or summer as we like to say, was for some free tickets today, and Ben Humphrey did win it, so we're going to go collect these tickets now and hand them over to him personally. So where the team news have just been announced, I'll put it up here for your viewing. A couple of changes from the way we've Unfortunately, I didn't make that game, so don't know exactly who they are. But I know Dolby and Powell are up front today, which is kind of a good thing. Powell tried his hardest against Weymouth, but it just didn't come off for him. So I'm glad he's got his time. John White for his penultimate game is on the bench. I'm sure we're going to see him come on this afternoon, whatever the scoreline is, to be given a proper send-off. The player of the season awards and all that are going to be announced at the end of the game. So I'll make sure to stick around for that. But apart from that, it's a game of not really anything to win for either teams, just take the points, take the glory. As Kevin Mayer said in his pre-match interview, he just wants the win. Nothing else is straightforward given the win. Hopefully today, big result on the way. Come on, you blues. <laughs> Yes! Oh. Shoot! 
Brilliant. Brilliant. Just what we wanted. Right before our time. Stunning. What do you make of that? Right on half time. Right on half time that is. Right then, all half time here at Roots. So as you've just seen by that goal, not even seconds ago, one nil Torquay. What a long half we've made up. That goal, so sloppy. Kensdale did so well. He was dribbling the ball around there. Players laid off to James Dunn. James Dunn tried to play a long ball. It was caught out by the Torquay forward. And he just ran through and slotted it past Arnold. So one nil down. It's, it's going to take a lot of this second half to get back in this. We have been, I'd say, one of our poorer days. That, this, yeah, the end of this season has been kind of rocky to be fair. I've had a lot of fans around me say we did this against Weymouth, we tried, we tried, but we just couldn't convert. Callum Powell, like I said, he would be busy this first half. He has tried and he's nearly got one in, as has Dimitri. We've had chances, but we're just not taking them. We're not clinical enough. Do we make subs? It's a 50 50 call. There's no Matty Dennis actually in the squad today, so we are down on a striker. No Cardwell. So who do we put on? You could argue. Seven on the clock. It didn't look bad from this angle at all. Oh. 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 oh my god! Nearly! We want Johnny White, so we want Johnny White. We want Johnny White, so we want Johnny White. We want.
Right then all, full time here in South and it's going to be the last time me saying that for a couple of months at least, but what a game we had today. Went down to 10 men being 1-0 down. I didn't see the challenge very, very well from my angle, but I'm sad and I've heard a lot of people have been saying it was a definite red card for JD, but I don't think we should be talking about the game, we should be talking about John White. What a career he's had, promotion, captain. It was Mr. Southend for every bleeds blue. I hope that maybe he gets a, a role behind the scenes. I think there's rumour of a new academy, maybe assistant or manager. I might be wrong in saying that, but I'd like to see his name thrown there. Deserved every bit of his career has been wonderful to watch. There's been how there's been sorry haters, doubters. I was one of them at one point, but you have to applaud the bloke for what a fantastic career he's had. But anyway, the game, all in all, it was a good game. Torquay probably should have won that game, to be fair. Came away the better team. But to be fair, James Dunn has probably just saved himself in South End colours. He probably looked like a favourite to leave, and now he's a favourite to stay. Wow. <laughs> But most importantly, I have to end this now. Thank you to you all for an incredible season on and off the pitch. You've supported me so bloody well. Words don't put into perspective what you guys have done for myself, my family, the channel. It's honestly been amazing to watch, guys. So I'm going to end it here before this all goes too far and you don't want to see it go that far. So my name has been Diversity. If you've enjoyed this season, this video, this everything about the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share with all your friends. I've been Diversity for the final time this season. Peace.